Hong Kong is one of the best cities in the world to eat. The mixture of Western and Chinese influences comes through in all the amazing dining opportunities. So no matter what your budget, there's some ridiculously good food to try. From Michelin-starred restaurants to casual eateries and street-side vendors. So let me give you a taste of what Hong Kong has to offer. Pot 32 is one of Hong Kong's most exciting fine dining Chinese restaurants. They reimagine Sichuanese, Cantonese and Shanghainese food using premium ingredients. So their barbecue uses Iberico pork, their sumai has black truffle in it, and their Peking duck is roasted with applewood, which makes it taste pretty good. Mmm, crispy. Take your pork. Thank you. So char is pretty much the best thing ever anyway, but this is Iberico pork char siu, and they use their local mountain honey as well, so I'm told it's pretty legit. Oh my god. That's pretty much the greatest thing you can ever have. Char siu, 10 out of 10. So good. So this is mapo dofu. The normal one's kind of like an old grandma style dish, but this is pimped up big time, as you can see with the fresh lobster in it. So I don't see how you could go wrong, but I'll give it a taste. It's pretty good. It just takes it to another level. Thank you. I've had loads of sumai before, but I've never had it with black truffle. And in the middle of this one is a little quail egg that all being well should be runny. And it is. <laughs> Hong Kong has these cafes that specialize in Hong Kong style food. And Kamwa Cafe here in Mong Kok is one of the most famous. It's not Cantonese food, but more of a Hong Kong take on Western food. To so think macaroni and spam and soup, or ham and egg sandwiches. It can be a little bit strange at first, but if you open up your mind, it can be remarkably great. So this is a pretty classic dish. It's luncheon meat, egg, and macaroni and soup. So many Hong Kongers will see this as uh, comfort food. It's like good for you, it's nourishing, it kind of warms you up. So that's why it's, uh, it's so popular for breakfast. This is really a breakfast dish. Okay, yes. Uh, jupa bao. Hi. Yeah. This is a jupa bao, which translates literally to pork chop bun. Super juicy. One of my favorite Japanese restaurants outside of Japan is Ronin. They've taken the izakaya concept and opened up this really cool dining bar here in Cheongwon that serves a range of different dishes depending on what's available at the market that day. So this is a Bombay duck spring roll. It's using a kind of fish that actually used to be really popular in India, dried, but in Hong Kong you usually get it in dai pai dongs, kind of deep fried with salt and pepper. It's pretty damn good. This is flower crab and uni. It's one of Ronan's signatures. I've been looking forward to trying this. Mmm, it's really cool. You know, like, the uni just makes everything really creamy in between the crab. So one of the really cool things they do here is actually produce some of their own spirits. This one is actually shochu, it's a Japanese rice liqueur, and then you infuse it with other flavors. So this is with coffee beans, so it kind of works well as a dessert to the meal. Because they don't actually do desserts here, so finish it off with this. That's really good. That's like a strong alcoholic espresso. We're definitely not done eating yet. Check out part two, where we go to Tungpo Daipai Dong to drink and party with the awesome owner.